Hey everybody, Rick here again with another quick model review. This is on the Ravel Fuchs A4 TPZ and 135th scale. Let's take a look at the model itself. Plastic itself is uh, Ravel, normal stuff. It's pretty nice plastic. It's not too soft, not too hard. Uh, the details on this Ravel kit are actually pretty nice. Um, very uh, deep, easy to see, but yet not unrealistic looking uh, predominantly. Um, you can kind of get a clue on some of the parts here. Such as the different uh, chains and etc. Their little rear uh, markers got really nice detail inside. All the axles, different drive parts, and everything else. You can see the uh, lug nuts and etc. in there. They look nice. When you look at the real pictures of the vehicle, they're pretty authentic. Uh, this is an amphibious vehicle, so you have the uh, prop blades for the little motors that go on the rear end, and then the different axle components. The kit itself, real simple, two parts for the main body, and then the uh, rear plate. Um, not too much to it. Uh, as you can see, the different uh, walking plates, um, non-skid strips, etc. They're nice detail. They show up nice once you paint it. It works out really well. And the undercarriage, etc. The little uh, hangers for walking up and on the vehicle. These are chain, or not chains, but um, cables here. And if you want to do something really nice, you can actually cut this out, drill a hole on either end and uh, put string in there and paint it uh, rusty or green and it works out real well. Decals are pretty straightforward to build. Uh, you've got uh, pretty much a modern era or you can do the uh, Kosovo era I believe uh, in the older versions. The vehicle itself has two options. You can either do the uh, standard version with the Milan missile on the top or an engineering version and you have all the decals etc to do all that. Comes with a nice set of uh, rubber tires and then um, your reflective uh, headlights. You can't really see it in the plastic very well here but the tail lights and uh, headlights and the front windshield. So let's take a look at the instructions. Uh, one thing they do give you is a nice metal wire here for your antenna. This is a picture of the version with the Milan missile. So it's actually a better Ravel kit as far as the instructions. Um, they have a lot of color in them. It's real sharp. So as I said, the vehicle itself goes together pretty straightforward, quick and simple. It's uh, what I would say an afternoon model. You can pretty much build the whole thing in an hour or two uh, if you know what you're doing. Um, no real complications in building. All the parts that have to go together. There's the uh, props that I was saying about for the amphibious version. Um, if you wanted to build a newer version and do some of the uh, modifications to that, uh, those would not be there. The axles, etc. Suspension system. All this starts going together kind of scary when you're doing it, but once you start gluing the final parts together, it actually goes together quite well. Uh, no complications. Sometimes you always worry about if it's going to fit together right. As long as you take your time and make sure everything's properly seated, it'll go together great. You can see the uh, different versions here. And you can start getting to this point. So as I said, you have uh, two different versions you can build. Um, you have the one with the missile or the engineering version, which is this version here, which you can see the two domes of supplies, etc., and it does not have the missile on top. So the instructions give you a nice set of uh, color pictures for painting your camel pattern, etc., and then your decal location. So here's a look at the vehicle itself completed. Um, it's painted with Tamiya acrylic paint, uh, your standard NATO green, black, and brown. Uh, and then you have all your different wood components here for your handles and that painted. Uh, your front windshield, you can see the headlights, 
an idea of the underside here with the different things. As I said, the drivetrain goes together really well. It looks nice. And you have your uh, different markings here for, uh, I believe this is your tire pressure. Um, obviously your German insignias. Different gear components uh, for uh, covers, etc. And you have your backside, the two license plates, the uh, tail lights and markers. Yeah. 